Hello everybody! <clears throat> I'm going to do a nail tutorial today and I posted a picture on my Instagram of what it's going to look like. But basically it's just going to be sort of a purple and teal gradient. And my nails are already filed and buffed. And so the things you're going to need are two OPI polishes. The first one is Vamsterdam. And the second one, let me just shake up, is this teal one. It's called Thanks a Wind Million. You're going to need those. <clears throat> You're going to need a makeup sponge. This one's been cut a little bit. And you're going to need such beat top coat. This is my favorite top coat because it's not a gel, but it acts like a gel. It never chips and it dries like in like two minutes flat. It's awesome. So I'm just going to do it on one nail to show you. I'm going to use this nail. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take your teal polish and apply one coat of it. Now you're going to let that dry and there's two things you can do afterwards. You can either apply a second coat of the teal polish or you can apply a second coat only about a third of the way up your nail and then do purple on the top. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. If you put the purple on the top then it gives it kind of a nicer shade. It makes it look better. So if I've, I've applied the teal part way up, and then I'm going to open the purple, and apply the purple just to this top edge of the nail. It doesn't have to be neat because the, um, the when you sponge, it's going to take all of that away. So that has to dry. Once that's pretty dry, you're going to take your makeup sponge and take a little corner where you want to put the polish and you're going to get some purple on there and you're going to do this for all 10 nails. You're going to get some purple on there, just use a corner, get some teal, a little more purple, and then you're going to take it line it up with your nail and sponge it and you're basically just going to reapply on this and do it over and over again until you like the end result The purple tends to kind of lift. I don't know why that is, but I just add more purple on top and then sponge it out. Sponge the edges out. Add more to the thingy. And keep on going. And then it's going to get all over your hand too, but that's fine. And then once you like what you have, wait a little bit for it to dry. And then take your sesh feet or your favorite top coat and put it over the top. The pictures are posted on my Instagram of what it looks like when it's finished. And you can also take a Q-tip and just clean up around the edges. And I'll show you that right now. I pour a little bit of pure acetone, because my nail polish remover is pure acetone, into this cap. Take a Q-tip or a brush and just clean up all around the sides. Thanks for watching!